Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm able to spend some time in the Sonoran Desert, and so guess what? My grandchildren love to come and visit in the warm weather. So they have been down and visited me, and they had such a good time, they're going to come back again. So because I'm still in the lower 48 where they have Dollar Tree, I went to the Dollar Tree and stocked up on some fun supplies to have when my little grandchildren come to visit me again. So even if the weather wasn't the warmest, they certainly managed to have a good time. We got to play in the sunshine even though it was cold, but we had a glorious visit and I'm very blessed to have them in my life and thankful that they come and spend some time with me. The first thing I bought was a selection of fruit snacks. Dollar Tree still has boxes of fruit snacks that come in different shapes and colors and flavors. Sharks and mermaids, and some of them aren't just the bright like gummy bear colors. They're more muted, they're uh, opaque, and the kids seem to enjoy them very much. I also found unicorns and Crayola colors. So they're fun little treats to give to the kids, and I found out that their dad likes to eat them too. And so having extras on hand for their next visit is going to be a good idea. It used to be at Dollar Tree, you could go in and you could buy packages that had pre-packaged little amounts of crackers and snacks, but I haven't been able to find those lately. But I did find a box of Whale's Cheesy Crackers, and these are good. I also picked up some veggie straws. These are really tasty, and yeah, there's some veggies in them, so it's not like you're eating vegetables, but I suppose it's a nice variety from uh, potato chips. It gives some new flavors, and it says veggies on it, so you're going to feel a little bit better about eating it, I suppose, even if they're not better for you. Who doesn't like mini marshmallows? And these are still fresh. They're soft in the package. Nothing is sticking together. And it's a great time to stock up on marshmallows if you want them. I have dehydrated these before and they turn out really great. So I'll put a link to that video if you're interested in dehydrating marshmallows. Then since these snacks didn't come with their own individual serving size packages that are just right for passing out to little kids, the next thing I bought was a package of the sandwich bags. There's 58 Ziploc sandwich bags in here. You can portion out the crackers, the chips, the marshmallows, whatever snacks you want. You can portion them out, put them in the Ziploc bag, and then you can take them in the car, you can take them on an outing, they can have them in a wagon or a stroller, and you already then have portioned out how many you want them to have. And sometimes putting them in a bowl is great if you're gonna eat them right now, but if you wanna portion them and then take them in your cooler or your backpack, having a container that you can seal it up so they don't end up spilling everywhere, and then having available to take with you. It's a great idea when you have little kids on the go. Here's a memory from my childhood, snow caps. They're like chocolate chips with little white sprinkles on them. I hadn't seen them in years, and so I decided to get these and share them with the little guys and see if they don't enjoy them as much as I used to. Because it's nearly Easter, they have some little wind-up toys. There's a little chicken and a little rabbit, and they're so cute because you just wind them up, they rattle across the floor, and they're enjoyable. I remember loving these when I was young, and I've given them some of these in the past, so it's nice to see that they're still available at Dollar Tree for only $1.25. So maybe you want to look for some of these for some excitement with some little kids that you know. Something that looked like fun were these little plastic balls with Minnie and Mickey Mouse on them and they include an activity sheet and some stickers. In the fall, we went on a family cruise, on a Disney cruise, so we could have the Disney experience. And they're at such a young age, they're four and two. I enjoyed sharing the Disney experience with my family and so because they enjoy these characters, I was excited to get these for them, and hopefully they'll be excited when they open them. Dollar Tree had some fun sticker fun books, farm animals, silly pets, and stickers to make all different kind of faces on the pages. And so I think these are gonna be a lot of fun. You can see there's a lot of stickers in the front and the back, and then there's lots of pages that you can use your creativity and make silly faces on the pages with the animals. So that's gonna be fun for them. I also found these heavy-duty art pads. 
These are fantastic for your budding artists because the paper is very heavy so they can use markers, crayons, even watercolors. And because the paper is very fine quality, then it's not going to bleed through onto the other page. And then when they're using their creativity, it's all on this nice quality paper and it's going to be a lot of fun using these. If you want to branch out beyond coloring books, look for the drawing pads and they're not with the children's things. They're more with, say, arts and crafts, markers and things. And so look for those if that's something you're interested in. I bought some more of the cups with straws. I have one that's orange that I bought when my grandson was the only one. And when they were here, oh my goodness, we had some arguments <laughs> over the one cup. So Granny bought some more so that we can enjoy them together. It's hard not to love little pink sequins. And I have this little tiny coin purse for my little granddaughter. And I'm hoping she likes it because I thought it was adorable. And you're supposed to buy things for others that you want for yourself. So that's what I did. The last time they were here, I bought them these little like night lights. They're battery operated lights. And there's a little tiny bulb that changes color down in the base. There's this plastic, clear plastic scene that slides down in there. It included the battery and it has a little switch and you turn it on and then it rotates through the colors. It's not bright at all, but it was very cute and they really enjoyed these. And so I thought I would share that with you if you want to look for them. They had different patterns. I bought some that look like the night sky because the starry night is what I was looking for and they really enjoyed them. They used them for the whole week they were here. They would turn them on every night when it was bedtime and the battery is still working after a week of using these. So that's pretty good for $1.25. Okay. Another thing I bought are these colorful LED light changers. It's not like a flashlight. It just has a color changing uh, inside. It includes the batteries and it has a little tab here and you pull the tab out and then you can turn it on. And then it was so bright. They love these things. They kept calling them freeze wands or something like that. And they would point them at you and you were supposed to freeze. <laughs> anyway, they had a great time. They worked really well. They lasted all week while they were here. They loved them so much they wanted to take them home. And so I bought two more so that when they return, they'll have another fresh one that they can play with when they're visiting. Lastly, I don't know what it is about sweet little children, but some of the odors that come out are not that great. So I went to the baby department and bought some baby air freshener. Whew, yeah, we only want to think of them as sugar, spice, and everything nice and not, whoa, what was that? <laughs> so while I try to only spend $10 when I go to Dollar Tree, this was for the grandkids and I actually spent $24. But you divide it by two, that's not bad. And I have had lots of fun buying them things from the Dollar Tree. In fact, they were playing in one of their toy cars and they told their mom, we're going to the Dollar Tree. And they were riding around in their little car. So that was fun for me to know that they like the Dollar Tree too. So leave us in the comments below. What are some items that you're finding at Dollar Tree that you enjoy sharing with your family so that we can look for those things as well? It isn't all about prepping doom and gloom. Some of it is just about fun and enjoying the time that we have. We want every day to be the best it can be and just spending a few dollars can really help that happen. So if you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.